because you can't see and our world is built on objectives. Why do you want to do when you grow up? Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Like, oh, everything is, what is the outcome? Why are you doing it? All, everything is like that. Well, well only on the people outside of you, not on the inside. Yeah. So how can you, because when you're doing this, when you're letting your soul or your heart, your heart guide you as a compass to what you should do. Yes. It may not obviously make sense in the short term while no. you're doing that. It makes sense 15 steps along the way. No. So how can you develop that trust in yourself or what is it that you should do? That's what I just, very, that's why I gave you the analogy I gave. I said of all the options, I would choose being a mechanic. If I needed to make money, so just make a decision, make to, the decision that you feel most connected to. I tell people this. Yeah. Imagine you had just gotten arrested and you were going to be put in a maximum security prison for 30 years. But the rule in this prison is you have to have a job and you can create any job you want. But once you tell them what you want to do, you have to do it for 30 years, Ooh. five days a week. So I say, sit down and tell me what it is that you would do for 30 years and laugh all the time in jail going, oh my God, look at this. I love gardening and I get to garden every day and they think they've got me in prison and I'm happy as a clam. That's how you do it. So at any stage so you of your life, mm -hmm. go back to the kid with the video games. If he says, I want to develop video games in jail for 30 years, he would just think it's funny. He wouldn't be stressed at all about being in jail. Yeah. But if you choose what someone else wants you to do or act out of fear, then you put yourself in jail for the rest of your life. That's pretty badass. And the reason I'm asking that is it's so easy to fall back on what makes sense, what's a good objective. It's actually, if you don't see this, if you're not aware of this information, mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe I shouldn't trust what I feel. That's kind of the, the default I've seen around. So that's why well, I asked that. Yeah. There's times when you shouldn't trust what you feel. Yeah. Well, and, okay. Yeah. That and, was a good distinction. And it's, so I'll tell you when you yeah. shouldn't trust what you feel. You shouldn't trust when you feel when your sex drive is about to get you in trouble because you're going to have sex with someone that doesn't want to have sex with you. Okay. Or you shouldn't trust what you feel when you feel like stealing something from somebody. Mm -hmm. So and, if, you, if you can't trust what you feel, that's when you need to be smart enough to go to somebody you trust to share what you're feeling and that person should have enough life experience to be able to help you put into context and help you find meaning behind it.